Trap house booming, VVS is a gon' glisten. Trap house booming, I get up back and I move it. Money be stupid, Zans go. Stash tutorials here. Uh, here's my email if you want me to edit one of your videos. Also, check out my cell five for my editing pack and my preset pack so you don't have to copy any of my presets. And it's pretty good. So, yeah. So, I have two clips right here that I'm gonna use. This is a little extra, it's not me, don't worry. Uh, so, I have this clip and then this clip, it, they're just random clips, uh, it doesn't really matter. So, let's do the transition. Uh, the way they did the transition first and I have my overlays I'm gonna use right here you can use any overlay you want uh, you can use a glitch overlay blah 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 money overlay like they did and yada yada the you know the techniques are still the same so what you want to do is right click insert new video track and I'm gonna want to here hold on one second let me get this okay so I'm going to want to have like 5 frames for the transition, maybe even 7. Uh, it's just it's such a fra fast transition, you don't want a long time, but you want enough time so people can kind of see what's going on. Um, it's also like an ugly transition unless it's super really fast because the way they did it, they did a crude mask and then just super quick. So it looked decent, but if you looked at it frame by frame, it was pretty ugly. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to do 7 seconds, so I'm going to go from the transition, from the split of the clip, I'm gonna go seven uh, frames. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then it's gonna start right here. So what I'm gonna do now is that the because I'm seven frames away, I'm gonna change this to best full and then click this little save button. And then it will save an image, yes. And then here comes my image. Just drag that on top of the clip at the seven frames. And then at the end of the seven frames where the image is done, you can just split that and delete that. Make sure you disable resample. Okay. Okay, so let's continue. So the next thing we want to do is we want to mask and act, or we want to do the actual mask. So uh, the way they did it in the music video was pretty crude like. Um, I like to do that, but with a little feather of both. Uh, I just I'm just gonna go around him and since this is only one frame uh, you it, it'll take way less time than just animating the whole you know video clip because the transition is so short so one two hold on and I'm done and then I'm gonna feather this I'm gonna click both there we go okay so now we have this and then you can see in the background the video is still going while my feather is still in action and it looks like he's bald but that's fine so next thing we want to do is we want to do the pan and crop so i'm just going to do a simple zoom in and then that's going to be the transition so i'm just going to go to the end of the clip right here make sure this is checked hold shift and then zoom in and i'm going to go towards his chest okay and so if you look at it right now, let me change this. That's what we have. Uh, I'm gonna switch to switch to this to smooth. Both of these. And then there we go. Okay. So I'm just going to that looks pretty nice, right? Okay, so now here comes the overlay part. So what we want to do is right click, insert a new video track, and then we want to get your overlays. I'm going to use this purple one and then put it on top of our mask and our video clip by that too. So what we want to do now is uh, we're going to want to edit to composite mode. So here, let me change the composite. Uh, you're going to want to, so if you don't have this yet, you want to click this, edit visible button set, and then you want to click make composite parent, make composite child, and composite mode selected. You want to click OK, and we're now we're on the same pack. Okay, so you want to click on. Okay, so let's just start. Sorry. So we want to click on this composite mode right here. Click that and click multiply mask. And then now we get this cool effect. Wow, that looks pretty sick already. But, anyways, that's not what we're doing. So we have we have this, and then now we want to go to our 
a uh, our mask that we just made and we're gonna click this we want to click uh, make compositing child and so it'll make it it'll make it the child of the layer on top of it so since this since there's no layer on top of this one and we click this nothing will happen well it'll actually make this new layer but we don't need to do that here I'm just gonna delete that and then so what we need to do let me delete this so what we do need to do with this is click this and make compositing child now this is the parent of this thing if that makes sense and pretty much we already have our effect right here and he's if he changes the best we won't see it we have our overlay in in the mask and he's zooming in uh, but let's say if you want a different look to it uh, more as in like here let me fast forward this and pick a different part of the overlay so if you look at the overlay or look at the whole video we have this and then it just zooms in what you can also do is fade it in just so it gets that so it's not so abrupt and then right okay so but what I was mentioning is uh, let's say you want the overlay isn't bright enough right it's like saturated say you just want because you can see the overlay it's like the overlay is added onto him and not covering covering him like the mask isn't the overlay so what what you want to do is you want to go to your video effects right here and then you want to look up your levels and then you wait a little bit keep waiting and then you just want to drag the default onto your mask and then just get this input end and then drag it all the way down maybe even a little bit less since I did the feather in and out both you're getting this little glow type at the end and of this like more like a little bit of an outline if you don't want that just don't feather um, that's what they did and it looked pretty decent so I'm just gonna do it like that and that'll be good for me and then you'll get this 100% you know that's that's your overlay it just in the shape of him yeah let me preview this and now you can do this with money with glitch with any overlay all right uh, if you want it to do look different um, I messed around with the settings a little bit and I I found these so what I liked is difference uh, I gave <laughs> this pretty cool effect which I'm definitely gonna use later on um, right dude I just think that's that thing that's super sick right there uh, you can also use uh, I believe subtract and those are the geez, these were just the best ones I found okay so now let's get into just other ways that he used it without transitions so doing the same technique we did earlier uh, we're just making this top layer or overlay into a multiply mask and then it pretty much comes with this but always parent it just remember to parent it um, just in case you guys want to you know different squared or difference it 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 won't do it to everything everything it'll just do it to this uh, minor clip but uh, so let's say uh, he just over here let's just say um, you have this clip here and say you masked out your whole subject in it uh, I just green screened him but it's basically just think about it as I mask him out uh, it'll still work and it'll still look pretty good I also recommend not having a still image but they did it a lot of time uh, just because of this it looks like you know chowder if you remember that show how they had a still image when they walked around you know the background moved but anyways so what a little bit of thing you can do with still images is you can what they like to do in the music video is they like they popped up like this and then just about like halfway through they just lowered it but then see see what the problem is you get uh, black bars that's because your overlay is missing so what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna want to oh that's sick too sorry guys I just get I like the things I create alright so what you want to do is you want to get this bottom clip 
hold control, drag it down, and then it'll create a copy of the clip. So if you do that, it is just kind of like a an overlay is you know depleting off them. But you can see a little bit. Um, it looks like it, you can see it right here. I didn't really do a good green screen as it looks like it's an overlay around him, but that's another way to do it. You can also add transitions to it. So let's say I go over here and I add this crazy transition, right? It'll just look like this. Of course, there's nothing to transition to. So I do this and put that. And you get this effect. And it's always just playing around with it. Um, you can also invert him. So if we go to video effects and we go invert, they like they like to do this a lot. Is they inverted him and they created this, you know, double effect. It's, don't worry about the pan crop moving. It's just that's my fault. Basically for the tutorial, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe if you wanted to, check out my other playlist of other my songs, check out my Selfie if for all my presets and editing packs and everything I use to become an editor. Uh, my email is down there if you want me to edit your videos. I've been editing a lot of people's videos. Um, and yeah, that's basically it. Uh, another tutorial tomorrow. Also comment what tutorial you want to see below. Yeah.